Hello, uh, Steven Steins. Um, what I'm going to do right here is just a quick tutorial. Uh, you're, you should be watching this as part of your lesson on loops in coding. And I'm going to show you real quickly how loops can be used. I'm going to show you three things, actually. I'm going to show you how to get to code.org to use the artist page. I'm going to show you how to, how to use loops to make a simple shape. And then I'm going to show you how you can share what you make on code.org so other people can see it. You can share it with your friends. You can share it with your um, parents. You can share it with your teachers. But that's how you do it. So I'm going to back up here real quick. Okay, so when you get started, you're going to be on whatever browser you use, whether it's Chrome or Internet Explorer. I want you to go ahead and go to the address bar, and you're going to type in code.org code.org c-o-d-e dot o-r-g and hit enter and it should take you to this page right here and you'll see this it's talking about some things that are coming up but for today we're not going to worry about all this stuff we're, we're looking at projects okay and for today we're going again let me show you that we're going to projects and once you get to the projects page you should see something like this you can see what other kids did down here, other students from other schools. Uh, but we're going to the artist page today because we're going to learn about uh, coding and using loops to make a shape. And specifically, we're going to make a six-sided figure, which is called a hexagon. So what I what I need to show you first here is this is your, your workspace, your work page. And there's a couple parts of it. There's this, which is called the workspace, and that's where the coding blocks go like when run that's its default that's there and then there's these blocks that show different things you can do these are the actions you can move forward these actions are indicating what this little guy is going to do that's your he's the artist and then there's also brushes where we can change the colors uh, there's also loops loops which shows how you can do things separate times. That's something that Tim and Moby talked about in their, um, or not, it wasn't Tim, it was whoever the little girl is in the Brain Pop Junior video. They were talking about using loops to get a computer to repeat things. And that's what this is. Okay, so we got the workspace, we got the actions, and then this over here is the, little, the space where you can watch what you made. Okay, and when you click run, it makes things happen. It When you click run, it runs whatever's in your workspace. When you click reset, it resets it. And this rabbit here and the turtle, that controls how fast your work is going to run. And I'm going to put it on slow so we can see what's going on. So to start out here, I'm going to go to the, um, the brushes page because I want to set my color. And you can take this little... All I did, if you watch, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that and start over. I, go to, I click on brushes and all these options come out. And I click on it, and I'm going to drag it, and then it, that is in my workspace. If it's not connected to anything, it's called, it's a, it's not being used. So what I have to do is I have to drag it over here so it clicks. You'll hear it. Did you hear it click to win run? Now it's active. And I'm going to set my color, and I'm going to go, you know what, I'm going to make it purple. Because that seems kind of fun. So I've got my color set to purple if I run. All that happened is it sets the color purple. You can't see it because he hasn't done anything yet, but I'm going to do an action. Okay, I'm going to say I want this guy to do something. Now, you'll notice here I'm clicking on actions. Nothing's happening. That's because this I need to reset. Okay, when you run it, whenever you run what you're doing to look at it to test it, you can't do anything else until you reset. Now, look, I click on actions. All right, I can do that. And I'm going to move it forward. I click. Did you hear a click? That means I'm moving forward this guy, but I have to decide how many pixels do I want to move it forward. That's pixels are a way of measuring distance here. It's it's each pixel is a little dot. We'll, we'll put it that way. But the easiest way to figure out how far you want to move is, for me is to test it out. I'm gonna say, you know what? I want him to move 20 pixels ahead, and we run it. Eh, he didn't go very far ahead, did he? I, I need him to go further. So I'm going to change this number to, let's say, 75. That's pretty good. I'm going to reset and run it. 
75. Okay, he went ahead 75. You know what? I think he can go just a little bit more. So I'm going to put him at 90. 90 pixels. Okay, so he's going forward. I reset it just to test it. And there he is. He went 90 pixels. All right. So I'm going to keep going here, though, because we're not done. He's. I'm going to do... i got to reset. I'm going to get him to do an action. A different action. I'm going to have him to turn right. Turn right. And how... F the question next is how far does he turn? And when you're talking about turning, we're going to use degrees as our measurement. You refer right there where it says degrees. And you can pick how far you want it to turn. And you can do it just using this little thing. I want him to move a distance that's called 60 degrees. Okay, you see where it says 60 there? And that shows how far he's going to turn. This little picture here. So he's going 60 degrees. All right, so if I run it, he's going forward 90, he's turning right 60 degrees. That's cool. Now what I, can, what I could do after I reset is I can go on the action. You know what, I'm going to have him move forward. Again, I want him to do the exact same thing. I want to move forward 90 and then turn right 60, right? I could do that. And I could keep doing that. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right. But honestly, that's going to get a little tiring. Especially because there's a different way to do it that's more efficient. And what I can do, if more efficient means it's you get the same work done, but you not as much effort. So you're more efficient and you save your time. So what I'm going to do first is these two blocks, I'm going to throw them away because I don't need them. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a loop like they talked about in the Brain Pop video. Okay, and this is the loop block where it says repeat blank times and do this. Now you see it's not connected yet, right? I need to find a spot to connect it. So first I'm going to disconnect these and put that in there. Connect that block. And then if I do this, look at this. I've got this action, move forward 90 pixels, turn right 60 degrees, is part of a, it's in a loop. And that means the little artist guy will do this action over and over as many times as I tell it to. Okay, so if I say, let's do it three times. Let's watch what happens. He does it once, and he turns. Twice, and he turns. Three times, and he turns. All right, is that pretty cool? Can anybody see what shape I'm making? Think about that while it's happening. All right, well, let's see if I wanted to say, if I wanted him to do 200 times, and I'm going to do it super fast, Look at that. He's going. He, he's doing it 200 times. There's no real need for him to do that, but you can see what the final shape's going to be, can't you? But to make that shape, I wonder, if I make it five times, will it make that shape for me? Let's see. Whoops. I'm one. looks like I'm one time short. So if I change this to six, reset it, and run it. Look at that. Let's slow it down so you can see it happening in slower time. One. Two times. Three times, four times, five times, and six times. Just like that. Okay, so I, I finished. I used a loop and really didn't have to do much. I just had to get two blocks and put it inside a loop and set the color. Boom, and I've got this made. Pretty, pretty simple. Now, last thing that we're going to look at today before we move on and I send you off to do what you... you, you we want to give you a chance to try doing this is how do I share what I just did? Because I got to admit, if I when I do some things on code.org, I want to, I want other people to see them because I think they look kind of cool and I didn't even know I was able to do it. So here's, I want you to know how to do that. If you look on the top here, it says share. Click on share. And it's going to show a little picture of what you did. And you can print it out if you want to. But I have to admit, Sharing it on where somebody can see it on the computer is a little more fun. So one option you have is you could send it to a phone. If, uh, let's say you have a friend, you have their phone number, or your parents, you want them to see it on their phone. You just right here, you type in the phone number. Okay? And keep in mind, there could be charges applying to it, but that that's how you send it by phone. Another option, like I said, is printing. You could send it by uh, Facebook. You send it by Twitter if that's something you do. But my... My favorite way to do it is if I click, see where it says copy the link? If I just click on that, it turns all highlighted. And then all I have to do 
is I say control C if I'm on a keyboard you may have you have to do it a little different if you're on a on an iPad or a tablet but basically you just have to copy this link and then watch this if I go up here to the top and open a new tab and I paste it which I go control V and click look at this there's there's the screen I just had right I'm gonna slow it down and you can somebody who's on their phone could watch or on somebody else on their computer can watch this See, it's making up oh, there it is all right and there's the last one okay and then somebody's got it they can see it you can you can uh, you can use this to forward to share the link with again with your friends with your family if if you get if you want to show it to me you can go to dojo and click send me the link say hey check out what i just made mr towser i said oh cool that's pretty neat good job okay but you can send it that way you can also uh send it to your homeroom teacher i don't know you know different people are watching this but if you want to have somebody see it you, you post it you can post the link and they'll be able to see it all right so i want to show you that one more time just so you know you go to share when you're done, you got your project all done, you want to show somebody. Share, you can send it to the phone number. Somebody who has a phone could scan this if, if they have the if they're able to do that. You can print it. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Twitter. Or you click here, you click on the link and it should highlight, and then you copy it. Control C if you're on a laptop, and then you go to another address. <laughs> Control V, paste it, and then you know. If you can send it to somebody and when they open it, they're going to see it. And there, it went really fast, didn't it? Okay, so that's that. So hopefully, after seeing this, you'll know how to get to the artist page in code.org. You'll know how to use a loop. Use the loop function to do make shapes. You can make triangles doing this. You can make, eh, you can make a circle. It's a little trickier than making a six-sided hexagon, but you can make squares. Any shape. You can make a rectangle. Greg don't have to think about a little bit how to do it, but different shapes you can make. You could play around with changing the colors. You notice here on the brushes, you can pick random colors. But that's it. So if you get in there and make something, try seeing if you can figure out how to, to send, send what you made to me or to, to your teacher. Okay, but that's it. I appreciate you all coming to, uh, appreciate you all watching this, and you can get back to your loops assignment and finish that, do a little work making a making a shape and let me see what you made all right thank you very much i hope you have a great rest of the day